In 2015, after working nine years as a support engineer, I received the biggest challenge of my life. I was selected to work in a major air traffic communication project. It was tough, it was a high learning curve. I saw a lot of things and, uh, well, it was quite overwhelming. After a, a while, I tried to understand how things work. I'm Chongur, and I'm obsessed with quality. I started seeing circles. These circles, just like these ones, colorful, colliding, complete, incomplete, ending, or what not, never ending. These were the processes. The processes, they describe something that we do, that we do to create something. They have a trigger, like hunger, thirst, or willingness to learn. Then they have a, an outcome, and in between there are steps. There are lots of steps. I think this is quite obvious. And I started studying how these steps work. What do they do? So I found that there are steps for information exchange. This is where all things can go bad. Based on this information, decisions are made. The more information we use to make decisions, the more accurate are those decisions. And, of course, our favorite is doing things. Things must be done. It's not only about information. So, I, uh, to understand all these processes, I created myself a process, how to understand them and how to improve them. Creating a process, well, one must not invent the process. It is already invented as soon as it has a name. So we must describe it, and that's when they come to life. First, we need to document every step from our minds, I have to write down everything that I know. I have to be verbose. And then I have to reread it and refine it. Think about it conceptually. Will that work? Yes, it may or may not. That's what we find out when we test it. So at the testing, we run our own process. I run my own process, but this is not enough. I have to give it to someone else. I become we, and my fellow friend or colleague, he must also come to the same result as I do, because that's where quality comes from. And then, well, this is it. It's working. My job is done, I would think, but no. There are the what-ifs. These are the questions that I must ask. What happens in case something goes wrong in between the steps? What happens, what should I do to refine these steps to come always to the same outcome? That's where quality is. So as I'm obsessed with quality, I will ask myself a lot of questions and jump back and forth between these steps. Along the way, I realized that apart for, from those three steps, I can categorize them into four more. They are the repetitions. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Even this word irritates me and frustrates me this is definitely something that I don't want to do. I don't want to waste my life repeating the same things over and over and over again. I have human interaction. I'm human. I like humans. I like my friends, my family. I like to talk to them. I like to interact with them. 
So I have to think about it. Is this useful for my process to live in any human interaction, or should I limit this? Quality, speed says yes, feelings say no. Computer execution. I think this is quite obvious for us. Computers, they process data, and they give us good results. And human execution. There are some things that only humans can do. There's art, there's creation, there's design. This, is, this can only be done by humans. I don't want to automate these steps. So I came to the conclusion that I must automate my job to make it more efficient, to have more time for myself, so I could learn more. And I started, I started sorting and selecting those steps to see which one is good for humans, which one is good for computers, which is what kind of step. I must know this because in the next step, I will all analyze this. I will have a look what kind of tools do I have? What can I use from this? Or maybe I will need new tools. Feasibility. Feasibility is really delicate topic. I think 80% of you have heard this word in a negative context. Feasibility is when we decide what is worth doing. Automation, if it is well documented, it's definitely worth doing. So a feasibility will tell us how much does it cost. And then the decision. Decision will use the data from the previous steps to go forward. Obviously, since we came to this step, there will be a positive decision. Why? First of all, cost reduction. We must create value and must not spend everything on it. So cost reduction is one. And then time, speed, and then accuracy. Whenever we work in a safety critical area like air traffic, you must provide with quality. And basing your decisions on a lot of data, it must be always consistent. And we came to our favorite step, doing things. We must implement everything. And since I have already tested my process with my friend or my colleague, who, and we know that it comes to the good result, it should be really easy. We have everything documented. I think this step is the one that really takes the less time. We will make our first prototype, and from our first prototype, we will have our test runs. It's really important to start up small. I want my process to be comparable. My automated process should be comparable to a human-driven process. Because humans, they invent things. They do things. And the computer, well, it can do only whatever humans do. So in, our, in my test runs, I will do this on a smaller scale. I will start up with little steps and then gradually come up and up. And then I can say, OK, this has been done. Well, dear audience, you might think, why would somebody go through all the trouble, all through this trouble, to automate a process? I told you quality, OK. I told you speed. I told you safety. But this is not comparable, maybe, to all the, all the effort that it must be done. One might question, would automation take over our jobs? Would it 
take over our humanness? Would it take over our communications? Would it prevent me from being able to talk to my friends? Well, I used a lot of colors, so please have a look at, except for black, which is the lack of light, what kind of color do you see? I guess it's purple. And that was human interaction and human work. Thank you very much. <laughs>